Welcome to the After Dark Spooky Special, featuring Ooh. your your favorite ghost, <laughs> Paul Thrott. Ooh. You're going to find out later, like I actually died this morning, and this is going to be a really weird episode. <laughs> <laughs> In the weirdest episode yet. Yeah. The ghost think, of Paul. Things take a... Returns to Earth to haunt all of you. <laughs> things take a different turn, and Brad doesn't switch to the wrong camera. Paul's actually dead. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, so, I went to the dentist this morning, Brad. Hmm. Fun, fun and, adventures. Uh, I don't remember how many weeks ago it was. Three weeks, something like that. I don't know. I chipped a... Well, I thought I dislodged my filling. But as it turns out, I chipped my tooth in two mm. different locations. And my filling is fine. Oh. But that means I need a crown. Mm-hmm. That means i got to wait another month, at least, mm-hmm. for the insurance to okay it or not. Because, you know... Yeah, they're cheap. I guess. I've never had one. So, mm. you know, fun. Let me tell you, going to a dentist during a pandemic is an interesting experience. You ever see the movie Contagion? It's like uh, people in bunny suits and everyone's worried for like some spittle to turn someone into a zombie or something. It's not good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I'm sure you probably got a million messages yesterday too, but this is a good thing. Uh, the affinity photo, if you buy it in the store. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I've already, so yep. since our, uh, literally after our talk, mm-hmm. sorry, I, sorry to interrupt you, but I, I, that's the first thing I did. I went back to the site to look up the licensing, and there was a link to the store. And the link to the store, you go to the store, and it's also 50% off. Mm-hmm. So I used that as my tip yesterday on Windows Weekly. And um, I, during the show, after saying I was going to test it for a few days, I was like, you know what? This is 25 bucks. I'm just going to buy it. Yeah. So I went to buy it, and I had like a $10 credit somehow in my Microsoft account. So it was only like 15 bucks. So score. Well, yeah. wor- well worth 15 yep. bucks. Yep. So, so I am. I'm, you know, I'm going to use it. Just spin the wheel, spin the wheel of apps or whatever. And yeah. So it's, it's, it is, it's funny to me how often this thing has come up since this sale occurred. Like it's mm-hmm. like a thing out in the world, you know, but anyway, yeah, it's, it seems like a great product. Yep. Uh, Microsoft also released now, someone's going to correct me on this, but I will, I will die on this hill probably. Uh, released a new build twenty zero one five zero whatever mm-hmm. in the in the dev previously known as Fast Ring, and mm-hmm. I called it. Hey, this is the first build of twenty one H one because that's what it is. But Microsoft will qualify that and say, eh, just because it's in that branch doesn't mean it's gonna be in the, it. It's that build. This um this is making it very hard to just speak about things plainly. So I saw that you had written it that way, and I thought nothing of it, and I think that's correct. I see that other people are saying it's. In the Windows 10, like Iron Branch, because we need another way to talk about stuff. So, yeah, I, I'm with you. Um, the the features that are new in this build and in subsequent builds in this channel um, will most likely end up in 21H1. Some right. of them will be punted to a future release. I I think, I you know, and this is God, I, I just just before the show, and this really factors into this. I wrote a story about how edge memory usage under the latest version of Windows 10, which is version 2004, is up to 20% less than on previous versions of Windows. Mm-hmm. Um, Chrome uh, will likely take advantage, will take advantage. They're, they've made a commit. They're going to put it into, I think, Chromium, actually. So I think any Chromium-based browser will see some improvement. And if you ask most Chrome users what the biggest problem with Chrome is, uh, they will incorrectly tell you it's memory usage when, in fact, it's the fact that Google is stealing your privacy every single time you use it. But whatever, mm-hmm. that's what people will say. Um, the reason I bring this up is because in the Microsoft blog post, you know, once again, Microsoft incorrectly refers to this version of Windows as the May 2020 update. And I just want to be really clear about this because Microsoft cannot seem to stop doing this. You are not running the May 2020 update. You are running Windows 10 version 2004. You got there by installing an update that has a stupid name, the May 2020 update. But... That's not what you're running. Yep. And I hate that they do that. So to put this in perspective, you referred to this channel as uh, Windows 10 version 21H1. Yeah, I have no problem with that. See, so I, just so we see the difference mm-hmm. in those two types of names. What you do, what you said, and I will do so as well, is more accurate than referring to this new version of Windows 10 as the tw- May 2020 update. That's ridiculous. Yep. And I, I know it's an ADD thing. I know I'm on the spectrum. I get it. <laughs> But I, no, but seriously, someone has to be precise. I write books about this stuff. I, we write articles about this stuff. Mm-hmm. You have to call it something. 
Here's an idea. Call it the thing that it is. Yep. I agree. I I, it, I thought you might. Just it just makes life easier. It, it Yep. Yep. It helps you know, you know, be precise. Yeah. All they got to do um, all they have to do is just say this is the branch that's coming whenever with an asterisk. We intend that for says, this to be 21H1. Some features yeah. will come out. This is yeah. no different than in the past. No, it's we not. We tested sets for a little while in some version of Windows 10. It never happened. That doesn't mean that that Windows that thing we were testing was not that version of Windows. Mm -hmm. Just just get over ourselves. I mean, come on. Yep, it's not a big deal. Makes life easier. Yeah. Anyways, um, you knocked out like three topics there in that little rant. That was great. So now we've got nothing to hang around <laughs> with. The <laughs> so there you go. Yeah, let's see. Crown Windows Ten Edge. Yeah, that's pretty Edge much usage, right. memory usage, <laughs> affinity. What else? The only other thing that's <laughs> this caught me off guard. So when I rebooted my computer this morning or turned it on, I should say, the brand. The brand new Xbox app like opened, and was like, oh, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I and and I was yeah. I was really confused for two reasons. One, because I had that Project it. Mercury <laughs> app whatever installed yeah, on my yeah, thing, yeah. and I was like, is that is that what started? Because it's all new or whatever. It's like no, and then I realized it was just the Xbox app, and it looks great. There's like I have no problem with it, other than the fact like, why'd you open? That's so there's something called Xbox app services that runs in the automatically at boot up. And that's why like, um, you know, I, this is behavior like steam does this by default, right? Spotify does this by default. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, the, the <laughs> auto, auto run on, uh, you know, of an app on a piece teams does this, right? Auto run of an app at boot up is the, the OS equivalent of the app equivalent of like the blink tab and next tag in Netscape, like, yeah, we didn't we didn't we decide a long time ago this was bad, you yeah. know? Back when Microsoft's um still had one care, one of the features of that product that was over subsequent versions of Windows put in different places in the UI, now it's in mm -hmm. Task Manager. One of the things it came with was a startup manager, literally for this purpose. And of course there were other tools in earlier versions of Windows too, but um and but that was the first nice one. And it it, it <laughs> like Microsoft gives you a way to stop this from happening. <laughs> And now Microsoft has multiple apps. You know, like you need, uh, if you're using OneDrive, you need OneDrive to start at boot up. Yes, it's, yes. A, it's basically a system service. Um, but yeah, do you, do you really, do you need Xbox startup every time? You know? Yeah. I'd... Can you hear my cat? She's been really know. loud. Can you, can you hear the water that was flowing in the background? <laughs> no. I'm sure I somebody can't. will be able to hear it. My wife started the laundry and there's water lines that run all around here and they make noise when water is. Yep. Flowing through, as water would do. <laughs> yep. Anyways, it's what, Thursday? Thank goodness. Yeah. I, I re now refer to Thursday as almost weekend. Yeah. I mean, it really is. That's why people get drunk on Thursday nights. That way they can get through Friday faster and... Mm -hmm. And start getting drunk with... No. <laughs> <laughs> this is behavior I'm trying to curtail a little bit right now, actually. But um, but yes. Uh, yeah. Thursday during the pandemic has been a night of stupid drinking, for sure. And... Uh, um, my goal is for that not to be the case tonight. But have you looked at? I think the new EA game is it Rogue Squadron or whatever the hell it's called. Oh, this, this is the Star Wars fighter game. Yeah, uh, that's a dogfight game or whatever. That's yeah. kind of interesting. Yep. Back in the day, uh, there was uh, there were some of the early Star game, uh, Star Wars games. There was like an X X Wing squad. There was something X Wing Squadron, something you know that mm -hmm. I didn't really like. But there was a Tie Fighter game that I feel might be slightly similar to this. Like I, I uh, and this is. I mean, twenty something years ago. It was a long time ago, but yeah, they haven't done a like a Star Wars uh, fly around mm -hmm. a ship type game in a long time. Yeah, it's called Squad Star Wars Squadrons. It's okay. coming uh, in twenty twenty, so we shouldn't have to wait too long. I'm guessing this fall. It was an X Wing Squadron game like a million years ago. I'm curious if I I know nothing about this other than like the thirty second trailer, which is probably what most people know. Um, it's like five v five or something. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, anyway, that's yeah, that's cool. So if they could bring that to like Game a, Pass, I don't have to pay for it, which isn't going to happen, but that would be great. It won't happen, though, because it's EA. You're not. Yeah, right. Right. Yep. So, anyways, tomorrow's Friday, which means we'll be back at uh, 1 p.m. Provided yep. post, provided Paul, I called you post, provided Paul didn't actually die. And this isn't his ghost that we're Thanks. looking at or whatever. Jokes on all of you. No, wait, the joke's on me. That's not funny. Eh, we'll all laugh. <laughs> I expect nothing else. <laughs>